In this video, we're going to practice using the distance formula when the lines have not been given to us. They've only given us the points. It's even easier like this. So all you do, uh, so for number one, we want to find the distance of A, B. So you choose, let's say, you just choose A or B as your point number two. So I'm just going to do it like that. It really doesn't matter. I promise you, no matter which way you do it, you will get the same answer. So now we just use this formula. Remember, this is the distance formula, which is actually doing Pythagoras. Okay, many people don't know that. It's actually just doing Pythagoras. I know I've mentioned that a lot, but it just fascinates me that that formula is doing Pythagoras for us. Okay, but many people think that it's just a, a brand new formula, but actually no. So, so let's go fill in the formula. So it says that there's a square root and then we can do this, like this, and then I'm going to fill in everything that should be there. So there's a minus, there's a minus over there, and then it says I must take the x value of point number 2. So point number 2 is a, now which of them is the x value? Is it the minus 2 or the 4? Well, the x is always the first one, so that's always going to be the minus 2, just like x is first in the alphabet. So that's going to be a minus 2. Then it says I must use the x value of point number 1. So I'll go to point number 1, which is this one. Now is the x value the minus 1 or is it the 9? It's the minus 1. Okay. Then the formula says I must use the y value of point number 2. So point number 2 is a, so that's going to be the 4. So I put a 4 over there. And then the y value of point number 1 is 9. You see, you literally just go plug everything in. Then what you do is you use your calculator at this point and you type it in exactly as you see it. And the calculator will take care of all of the pluses and minuses and things like that. And that's going to give you the square root of 26. But this question has asked us to do this to two decimal places. And so that's going to give us 5.1 if you round up. Unfortunately, we can only get one decimal place with that one because when you round up 5.099, it rounds to 5.1. Moving on to number two, which is the length of CD. This time I'm gonna make this point two, just to change it up a bit, but it doesn't actually change anything. Then gonna use the formula and fill in whatever I can so long with the two minuses and the two minuses. So the first part is the X value of point number two. So that's gonna be that one over there. Oh no, that's not right x value of point number two is this one because now this is our we said that d is our point number two so that's going to be a minus three then the formula says i'm going to take the x value of point number one which is the two over there so i fill in the two then it's the y value of point number two which is the four and then it's the y value of point number one which is a seven then you go type all of this on the calculator and that's going to give you to two decimal places, that's going to give you 5.83. So I trust that by now you are fully comfortable with using the distance formula.